This is YouTube Joseph WM walking with intercontinental giants 10,000 years after people in Africa. So, um, the animals, some of the, some of the animals, lots of them, they've changed much. The jaguar is never, the jaguar subspecies that was here, um, or species never really established itself. They were went extinct due to competition with leopards. But there's still um there is a lion no tigers. The African um the African um type those the Afro um no Africans. African no I don't know what to call it. Safari tiger, um, or savannah tiger. It's by now a distinct, um, there's a few, um, it's a subspecies complex. So, um, oh, it's a sub Saharan African tiger, um, subspecies complex. There's many of them, many sp subspecies, I'm not going to go into detail. It's also not its own species yet. And then I'll um, show you more about the end. And then, hold on, where are we? On the grasslands, there's Ponolukuluas, Pon which are descendant of. They're derived from feral horses. Um, I don't know what it's. Oh, they're derived from the Pulaski's horse. That my I meant that my I didn't even escape zoos in Africa or migrated. I don't know. They might most likely migrate here. Oh, no, they escape zoos or sanctuaries on the trail. Uh, and then the Pologa, the Pologa is like a pony but wild. But it was always wild. And it, it grazes on grass. It fills a, a niche in between that of what of antelopes and zebras. And then uh, it's a medium herbivore, size, mid sized herbivore. Medium sized herbivore. It's like um, bigger than five feet. No, not five. No, it's uh, like, it's only like four feet, up to four feet tall. Five to six feet, six feet long. I'm not sure how much horses weigh. You know, well, I would say weighs well, only like a quarter the size of a domestic horse. Wait, I mean it's a quarter of the weight and mass of a domestic horse. Like it says, a grazer lives in the savannas. It's social animals. I could only put one here. Uh, due to this being on public pals. And I have other creatures to show. So, um. And then the next animal is going. Is going to be a. The, in, the Indo Rhine. Or the Indo African Rhino. Um. And then also on um, yeah, the Indo-African rhino, that's the, now it's the Indian, now we'll call it the Indian African rhino, a subspecies of Indian rhino that escapes zoos, I'm not, that his ancestors escapes zoos, I'm not sure what subspecies, modern subspecies of Indian rhino it's from. Anyway, um, yeah, it's like, um, it's like a little bit smaller than, it's like about, I'm 
not sure how big how many feet exactly. This is around 20% smaller. I would assume it's like anywhere from 5 to 7 feet in length and um, up to 4 to 5 feet tall. Weighs, it's weighing only weighs anywhere. I'm not no, I'm not sure about the weight and mass. Sorry if I'm talking too soft. Okay, so the next animal is, um, hold on. Then there's a, then there's coo, then there's the African, no, the African cougar survived as one subspecies. Now it's a whole complex of them. See, Afro cougars, subspecies complex. There's many of, I mean, there's many subspecies of Afro cougar. Um, and then it, it evolved. So it's, it's like a, it's like a, bigger than the modern cougar, six to nine feet long, and, and um. And I'm um, like, hold on. And, and it's like, t and it's like, I um, don't know, five to nine feet tall. No, not that big. So more like three to seven feet tall. See, but it's still a predator. Powerful predator. Um, in the rainforest where the, the cougar hunts. The descendants of the African black deer. Um, no, they're should be called the um. Well, we'll refer to it as the Congo deer now. It's just it's definitely yes. Yeah, so it's a distinct species from its ancestors, the white-tailed deer. Yes, Cape zoos. Africa. So um. The cougar hunt, say, and then also, um, it, um, it eats it, it attacks it, and bites, like it bites its throat and suffocates its prey to death before it, it ripping out chunks of the flesh and meat. It eats. In the rainforest, there's um, there's also wolves that hunt the deer and the horses. Um, they're African group. No, we'll call them the. We'll call them Central African rainforest gray wolf. They're descendants of gray wolves that escaped zoos in Africa, and colonized their and colonized the rainforest. And then also these animals, they're, um, like I said, they hunt animals like ho ho horses and deer and large, bo certain bovids. Yeah, I don't have the bovids today. Anyway, um, so, um, and then, um, and then, hold on. Is the Af Indian Af no, is it in the Af okay. the Indian African no the Indo African called the Indo African elephant. It's like um it's a subspecies of Indian of Asian elephant descendant from the Indian elephant that escaped zoos in Africa and colonized the mountains and the rainforest and all that. And then there's a, and it's thriving here, thriving here. I forgot to mention the wolves earlier. They're like, um, they're bigger than modern wolves. They're like five, no, I'm, not, I'm just gonna say they're the size of dire wolves. And weight mass, all that. But uh, the ant, 
the Indo-African elephant is um about is about um well it's the I mean it's the only Asian elephant subspecies that really established itself in Africa and also um it's like it's like five um so it's like about the size of a small African elephant. Um, I, it's like um, 13 feet or so in length. It's about 14 and a half feet tall. And I'm not sure how much it weighs. Around the same weight as, a, as, a, as an average African bush elephant. And they live in the rainforest. I don't think these animals that have counterparts in Africa. The only ones that don't are the deer are the deer, the the cougar and the bear. In the um, there was a like a there was a bear species, I forget which bear subspecies, I forget which species that lived in Africa, uh, in the Atlas bear, uh, well, went extinct in historical times, it was the only bear native to Africa, anyway, um, anyway, um, then there, but they, um, these species don't entirely compete, out compete replace their native counterparts like the horses aren't replacing zebras the tigers aren't replacing lions the Asian the Indo the Indo the Indo African elephant and Indo African rhino aren't replacing the African elephant and the white and black rhinos sorry I'm <clears throat> Alright, there we go. So, um, they're, they're filling, let's say, they would fill a, about the same niche, but there's a, there's enough food and resources for, to support all of them. Anyway, um, and then there's one of, and there's the African, right, here's the Af African grizzly, which is a subspecies of Osiris, if, I think it's a, um, it's a whole, well, it's not, really, it's not, it's more of a subspecies complex. The African grizzlies are, um, are descended from, from, I don't know what type or subspecies grizzly, somewhere in North America. Grizzly bears, just so you know, are. Uh, subspecies complex or population of, which is the same thing I think of brown bears sorry if I break up so um then the next um the next so then the, well, I think all these animals eat this, this similar food in their original habitat like um let's see Oh yeah, the cougar would target deer and antelope. Deer and a well, certain antelope. And then, um, the deer would hunt them. Well, not hunt, it would forage for low, for on grass and plants low to the, um, low on the ground. The bear would, um, probably, um, Eat all kinds of vegetation and insects, stuff like that. In addition to, um, it would it would have the same diet as its as the original as the original modern grizzly bears do today in North America. And that includes hunting prey like like deer, elk, and certain bovids. I don't know about bovid, definitely deer and elk. And also, um, 
but also it would um, be a scavenger. Just the bear would scavenge anything. And then um, that would find whatever it's, um, whatever it's, it would eat any animal, meat, any animal, whether it's live or not any animal, only insects, stuff like that. And um, and certain large mammals. It also, but eat any animal dead. It finds them. So um, and then um. So the, and it will it. Hold on, watch to see. So, so we reach the climax. The um, bear isn't spying as the. Lion doesn't know the bear's there. I mean, the tiger doesn't. It's about to bring. Oh, no, not there. It's about to bring down an, an, an Indo um, African elephant. It jumps on it. It attacks it. It does. The elephant does manage to stab. The tiger a little bit, but the tiger wins and it will survive and recover. Your wins and tiger knocks the elephant down and, and eats it. As soon as it, as soon as the tiger makes its kill and starts and jump down before it gets a chance to enjoy the food, and the grizzly bear. This grizzly, this grizzly bear is about the size of the short-faced bear um, from the ice age, from before humans, oh, I mean humans were, I mean from the ice ages, the Pleistocene epoch, not the movie. Anyway, um, the grizzly bear in this one is, like I said, it's about the same size as a short-faced bear. And then I'll notice the short faced bear known as Arctidus. That's how big this grizzly is. Big enough to steal prey from a tiger. <laughs> it punches. Well, no, before it does that, tiger realizes it's there. And it goes like. <laughs> Bear's like stands up on its all fours. But the tiger's not going to give up its prey so easily. That is until um, the bear, um, on all four, uh, not all fours, I mean all two legs, and it stands up on two. It punches the, it punches the tiger, um, and it causes it to go, boom, boom, it punches it, makes it fall to the go flying a few feet and hit the ground it breaks a few of its bones and whoops away and, the, and basically just stole the carcass from the tiger basically the bear the, the, Af the African grizzly stole the carcass from the from the Afro tiger and um, and um, and uh, and it eats, now it enjoys it, and then also it won't, after this it won't need to eat again for like three weeks or maybe even a full, anywhere from three weeks to a little over a month with this much meat on the elephant carcass. But thank you for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, bye bye. What did the What did the trees in the f rainforest say to the earth? This is a joke. What did the trees in the rainforest um say to the say to the birds in there? Bird the birds in the rainforest. Oh, it's sorry. What did the trees in the rainforest say to the birds in the rainforest? You're a junk gull.